toilets. That's where the real treasure lies. The loo roll. <gasps> Alas! There is none. What are we going to do? Going to have to resort to stealing it like we're back in lockdown again. Well, hello there. How you doing? Casey? Are you there? Yeah. Glad to hear your voice. Ready to get started? <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. Because you get to live. Ready as I'll ever be. Okay, good. So, I found the manual for the pump flow regulator. It looks like we need to calibrate it before it can be installed. Each of the pumps has different flow requirements. And that component tells the rest of the system where to route the water. Okay. As long as you tell me how to do it, we're going to be okay. Ignore my floppy hand while I just adjust my headset. Nice. Cool. Let's get started. But I'm no plumber. Calibration? Flow requirements? This is sounding complicated. The manual's pretty clear. I should be able to talk you through it. Let's start with the serial number. Find it on the device and read it to me. Uh, yes. Okay. I can do that. We have our device right here. So the serial number... We'll just be right on the device. Here it is. Four seven three zero five eight nine dash zero one. Okay. Uh, now That's so smart. turn the dial until you get some feedback on valve A. Uh, uh, then tell me the number you see. Okay. Like a fuzziness. Let's give it a try. Feedback triggered on fifty five. The numbers turn green. Look at us! Okay, good. 55. Uh, according to the manual, valve B should be tuned to 28 degrees. This is amazing. Valve B to 28. Got it. Perfect! Okay, uh, last valve. One second, one second. There we go. Valve C should be set to 67. 67, got it. Let me go over there. Six valve and C seven. Set. All numbers green. Seven. Awesome. Okay, uh, almost there. Now it uh -huh. says, depress the automatic confirmation mechanism. Uh, looking at the diagram here, it's a big round button. Should be obvious. This one? All right. Big round button pressed. <laughs> yes! Okay, we're calibrated. Nice! Now you need to install this sucker into the pump. Uh -huh. uh, the pump, it's, uh, it's located outside of St. Vincent's Church. Beacon lights will be on to help find it, so that's good. Of course, uh, it'll probably attract walkers, so that sucks. Just be ready. The systems down here will let me know when you've installed the regulator. Oh, and uh, one more thing. A little tip that should make life a bit easier, scavenging more fruitful since, you know, we're colleagues now. <laughs> right? Hey. The tower has a radio station, number 47, that broadcasts any significant discoveries in the city and the current schedule for stirring the herd. Might be wise to tune in before heading out for the day. Privileged intel, so, you know, let's, uh, let's keep it between us. All right, gonna take a few moments to clear my head. I'll contact you when it's time for the next step. Good luck, and thanks. Hey, look at Casey being a pal. Thanks. So we got the, the little pump regulator thing that we tuned up. It's so weird in virtual reality you have just the smallest things, as long as they, like, feel realistic, just... It's like the best experience ever. You could literally like plumb a toilet with with a plunger, but as long as it was neatly detailed and you were scraping up realistic poo, it would be <laughs> it would be the most ex incredible experience ever. That's just how VR works. It's so strange. I also like that we can just take the pump regulator and just toss it out the window, and then eventually it will come back. Right? Yeah. Cool. So, are we going to go to this Vincent Church place, or do we have to kind of chill out for now? Where did you come from? Where, where, I've got so many things in so many pockets. Here we go. Move through the catacombs to meet with May in the churchyard. Of course, yes, we need to go and see May. Install the regulator into the pump outside the church, which I think... If we're meeting May in the churchyard, it's the same location, so that's fantastic. We can smash two things at the same time. Brilliant. So we're going to need to make sure we've got plenty of guns and ammo and whatnot. Which we do. I got a gun on the hip. I got, oh yeah, we got a big fancy knife now, didn't we? That's fantastic. Loads of bombs and food and whatnot. I think we got this, you know? Yeah. Let's make a start. Oh, 
brand new day in the bayou. It's good to be back. I've gone ahead and tuned up the game a little bit. Someone mentioned that it was a bit dark, a bit laggy, so I've gone ahead and reduced the shadows, some of the textures, just to make the game hopefully run a little bit smoother. And I recently kind of buffed up my monitor a bit. NVIDIA has this like weird thing where you can activate like full color mode and get a lot more kind of colors and saturation into the picture. So hopefully this means that the game will just look a lot more realistic to what I'm seeing inside of the headset. And I think that these areas here that were a lot darker before should hopefully now be a lot brighter and that should overall make the experience a lot better, especially when we're going into those buildings. Because when we go into some of the buildings and we start looting around, it's very dark other than that tiny little like circle that my torchlight can show, that this little thing shows. And hopefully this, this catacomb here will be a good kind of showcase of that. And if not, then, you know, I guess I'll cry and we'll be basically back where we started. But we shall see. It feels a bit more smooth of the game. There was obviously a bit lag as we, as we moved into the thing, but, you know. It's okay. Okay. Zombie killing time. Let's try out this new knife, the night shift. Do you think we can get decapitation de de with this? It's got kind of like a big swing. Let's try. Let's get the head off. Uh oh. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. This is a stabby knife. Oh, yeah. Very stabby knife. Oh. So presumably the way to the churchyard is going to be through that little gate here. St. Vincent Ferrer, Roman Catholic Church. Yes. This was barred before. Someone's gone and cleared the way. I guess that's May Benoit doing the work of the gods. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Kind of spooky, though. Very spooky indeed. And a lot more of these statues. I really wonder what happens when we collect all of them. If we collect all of them. It's going to be interesting for sure. So look at this. There was a whole zone out here on the other side. Right under our noses. A whole churchyard. And potentially somewhere for the pump as well. A couple of cans and bottles, nothing too special. I'm kind of interested to check my health and everything, but hopefully we're okay. Hopefully I did that the night before. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Aha. Uh -huh. So there's the church. Looks a little bit bombed out. But I guess everything does nowadays. Are you Mae Noir? She said in the churchyard. I think that's an NPC. Okay, well, we'll take a step back. And you know how this works. Saints and spinners time. Let's get out the spinner. If you truly are Mae Noir, then you're either going to be a huge kind of advantage to our story, or we're going to have to end you right now, which is going to cut off a massive portion of the game. But that's exactly what we're here for. So here we go. Let us decide. Live or die, we've got a big spin for Mae Benoit. I want this to last. Feel the tension brewing. This is such a huge portion of the game that we'll cut off. Mae Benoit represents the kind of the resistance against the tower. Ah, oh, okay. Mae Benoit, you live today. And I'm a little bit grateful for that, to be honest. <laughs> Hi. Don't get used to meeting like this. It's a rarity. I get it, I get it. It'll be all sneaky secret and all that stuff. I understand. It's almost impossible to know who to trust. Mm. All right, then we're on the same page. I'll get to the point. Why are you helping me? Because the spinner was red. <laughs> Basically. Henry trusted Henri you. Henri trusted you. Henri. So that's good enough for me. Were you two friends? Not exactly. I wouldn't say we were friends. I liked the guy. He presented a genuine opportunity. So I went for it. Omri definitely had an eye for opportunity. Well, mm -hmm. may he rest in peace. You got some curmudgeonly shoes to fill. I'll point you to tower caches with useful supplies, and you get me the intel they contain. Sound like a deal? Sounds like a fantastic deal. I do have questions. Maybe. But I have a question first. The tower seems to be after you and your daughter, Hardcore. What's that all about? Wait, one minute, please. <laughs> Yeah. Back to it. Yeah. Um, Back definitely to definitely had it. What's that all about? You spotted those posters, huh? Mm. You want to go there? All right. I'll give you the big. <laughs> yeah, I want to go there. I used to be with the tower. Now I'm not. We don't see eye to eye. I'm in the right. They are in the wrong. That's all I got for you now. Okay. 
That's actually quite useful. That explains why mama has got such a big hatred for you. You must have met before. But yeah, I'm up yeah. for the cause. I'm on board. Good. Glad that's settled. Take this drawing. You do like to draw, don't you? There's some intel at the location in the drawing. When you have it, leave it for me at the usual spot. Okay. So we've got like a big radio tower and a little shack to the side of it. Sounds good. Consider it done. All right, Maven Wah, it's a pleasure working with you. Hope to see you around. Maybe we'll even share the cash together. You never know. We belong together. Stab gutbags in the stomach to extract their bowels. Is this like some of your stuff? Did you teach me this? We've barely met. You want me to extract guts of zombies? That is not the gut. That is really not the gut. Okay, and then there should be like gut pieces. Aha, uh -huh. temporarily disguised from walkers by rubbing the walker parts all over your bodies. Sprinting will wear away the effect. Walker in it. I'm not gonna lie, this is a bit gross, but here we go. I'm rubbing walker bows. Oh. Stealth mode. Okay. So this might be the way that we go into getting that water pump set up. So I guess that's our next step now that we go over here. We'll go ahead and test our new kind of stinky smell on these guys. Hello? Hello? You see me? <gasps> Look at that! Zombie invisibility. This one's a bit suspicious now. We've been close enough. Oh, hey. So I guess that little bar there, as long as we don't sprint, we're going to be largely okay. And I guess that's the pump. Oh, this is brilliant. Well, we've got to get close to the pump. And we need to get some room to do it. So if I just toss this in here. Uh... Yeah, that'll do it. Sweet, we just killed like 20 in one. <laughs> And that was one of those bombs from the tower castle. That is fantastic. Perfect. All right, well, let's sprint. Let's get rid of this smushy, mushy grossness. There we go. Oh, look at that. Absolutely covered. Yeah, I bet you didn't enjoy that, did you? Yeah, we'll take you with. <laughs> As a memento for this glorious day. Can I get some more of that stuff? That was good. Anything? No. This guy, maybe? Yeah. Okay. I was hoping we'd be able to collect a few, but I guess not. Oh, okay, well, free rain. <laughs> it's the guy's head. How cute. Alright, and then we just plump this in here, yeah? Nice. So that should begin to pump water out of the reserve. Wait for Casey to reach out again. Yeah, nice. And travel to the ward and get the tower cache for Mei Benoit. So potentially that's what we're going to have to do today while we wait for Maven Wild to get back to us. The thing that I'm kind of like, I want to bring up is that if there is the pump and Casey is somewhere underground and the pump regulator is needed to be powered in order for Casey to get rid of the flooding that's above him, then it begs the question of whether Casey is a lot closer than we think and could potentially be pretty much around above Henri and the base the whole time. It's kind of like a sense of irony. I reckon that could definitely be a thing. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Kind of a little bit curious to go and see this as well. We've got the church here. I'm just trying to see if there's any floodlands. All these are kind of like blocked. And when we were in the other zone, when we did Mae Noir's little thing to get the key, there was some huge flooding over there. It just makes you wonder. You know, you see, we can't get in here. I'll call it now. I think the reserve's in there. We'll just pass there. Somewhere close. For sure. Either way, fun little zone, but we're done now. So I'm going to go all the way back to the base. Just kind of like stock up on a couple of things, make sure we're nice and healthy. And then I will head off to this new zone, the ward. And we'll get started finding Mae box of loot. Oh, could you imagine if we killed her? <laughs> What do we do? 
Or maybe she just drops all of her drawings on the floor? Crazy. Well, maybe we'll get an opportunity in the future to kill her anyway, so we'll find out. Either way. See you in a bit. Whoa. We're in a warehouse? What a sneaky way in. So if we take a look at the map, the ward is actually one of the kind of like few locations left. The ward is here, so we've now got two left to discover, the bywater and the rampart. And then after that, we've pretty much got everything. But of course, there'll probably be some later zones, like from Memorial Lane, we can get to the tower. And I guess these little question marks mean that you can travel to different places from that location. So there's potentially a few things left to discover here. But we're getting through it. Take a look at the overworld map. We have spawned in the skiff, and we have a blue building, an orange building, and a, I don't know, cyan building, and a little green building too, so there's quite a lot in this zone. And we're looking for a radio tower, or at least a building with a radio tower in the background, so that we can find this tower cache. If I can get back to the pictures, here we go. So there's kind of like an old shack with a radio tower behind it. Anything that looks familiar? I see a radio tower there. And those two little nipples look like those two little nipples on that building there, so potentially... Could it really be just over there? No. Oh, there's quite a few on all the buildings, yeah. And the nipples would need to be to the right of the of the radio tower, which it's not. So we're gonna have to do a bit of investigation work. Interesting time of day as well. The buildings look a lot flatter here. Like we've gone into the open a bit more. Oh, looks like the tower's left another message. Wait, have we read that one? I don't want to activate it. Blah, 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 blah. All they needed was a voice. Yeah, we've read that one. Okay. Poof. Got away with that. But yeah, such a strange time of day. It looks very apocalyptic now. The birds in the sky, this kind of like yellowy, ominous glow to everything. As I say, just kind of like the open space feel. A lot more space to kind of roam around. I guess a lot more space for walkers to appear as well. Very spooky. So I think how this has been going is that every zone has kind of like this mini story side questy thing that we get to go on. <laughs> and, you know, maybe we'll find the one today. Maybe we'll murder them before we get to find out. Who knows? So we're getting closer to this tower here. Does this building look anything like our picture? Kind of, but not really. No, it's a bit more of a shed. I take it these doors don't open either. They're too big, too chunky. Yeah, and we need to kind of get this in the foreground. I'm not sure why the picture's gone so blurry. So us going close to the tower is actually a bad thing, but... You know, here we are. I have one of those, like, weird fly ones. Oh. Uh, diseased walkers will lower your max health if you get near them. I thought they were different. So these, like, bluey glow things are going to reduce our max health. Don't like that at all. Yeah, look at this. God. You'd have hated to have seen this when the walkers first came out. This looks like carnage. So many abandoned cars. Crashed vehicles. Chaos. Hey, another exit though. That's pretty good. I think that looks like a ooh, like a shed. Was that something warehouse? Oh god, Jesus, can't see a thing. It's similar to this building, but not quite. So maybe we can go around the back here. Hello. Unfortunate positioning for you. I hear someone over here. Hello. Hi. That's the tourist. <laughs> you know me? Look so tough. You got some big guns. Hey, beat it. I get it. I get it. I understand. I'm sorry. We'll be back. You know why? Because <laughs> we're gonna spin. <laughs> here we go. Random two people in the alleyway. Live or die. I wonder. Do you mind? We're spinning the spinners. It's a crucial moment. I might be murdering more people than just a couple of zombies. And by the looks of things, 
Hey, you get to live today. Alright, I'll just walk on by. I apologise. We might find a different way in, but our fight is not with you. I'm just here for, for the stuff that I need. And we'll be back. Wow. Look at that guy. He's so creepy. You know the, uh... Oh, Shaun of the Dead. There's a girl in the garden. <laughs> but it's more like there's a man in a hoodie next to a van. Spooky stuff. Can we not go around this barricade? We're going to have to go all the way around? That sucks. Okay. I guess the easy way would have been to cut through there, but because we're playing Saint here, we're going to have to go the long way. That's fine. We'll get round. Schlesinger and Ing... Helheimer. Ring a bell? Potentially. More people on the roof here, too. Hi. Ah, uh... Can I just take that back, actually? Where'd it, where'd it go? Ah, thank you. Cool. Wow, you got this place fortified. Jeez. Do you count as the same people over by that wall? I think you do, right? This base is huge. Hi. I suggest you get lost. I get it. I get it. I am out for a stroll. Nothing better to do. <laughs> Could you imagine just watching a man absolutely plastered in blood? I guess only on one side, just kind of like staggering his way down the streets. You'd mistake him for a zombie. There's so many people here, though. Oh, and you bet that's going to be the building, isn't it? Two little nipples. Yeah, it's the building. There's almost a the little canopy. You can just see it. The canopy. I'm going to pay us something very different. You guys want to deal with these? Hello? I don't mean you any harm, but I could really appreciate you just dealing a little bit of fire support for the zombies over here. Fire support? Gonna give me some fire support. Just asking for one little bullet. One little bullet for my friend! Not really friends. I give them to you. Here you go. Just heal it. You want this? For you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Get it! Get it! You don't want it! Take it! It's a gift! Sweet, they actually deal with it. These guys really don't like me. I guess you're tower people. You might have heard about the massacre I made in the last place that we're in. Jesus. You really don't want me around. I guess our fame spreads far and wide. So we've gone miles past the greenhouse, but I guess this yellow bit here is exactly where we need to go. Is there going to be like a super sneaky entrance here? I guess if we're not allowed to kill them, we might be allowed to sneak past. I guess the alternative would be to wait until the horde happens when the bell goes off. Which we're not too far away from that happening anyway. I heard they're skinning walkers up north and wearing the skin. Twisted shit. That's not something you should tell someone randomly on the streets. But thanks. So if I can get through this without triggering the cans, then we're in. What do you mean that's the tourist? You've seen me already? Is this little exclamation mark telling them that I've already been seen? So we're in a dangerous area, but I don't think we've been spotted yet. Okay. We'll try a bit of a sneak situation. If not, we've always got the bell to rely on. If we get spotted, we'll just run out of here, check some of the other buildings. It won't be a nightmare. But I, I yeah, I'm up to try and kind of sneak my way around this. It's a shame there's not like a knockout a thing where you could get a hammer and just donk them on the head and put them to sleep. That would be a true kind of sinner experience. If anyone's ever played the game like Dishonored, you've got that option in the game as well. Oh God, I can't actually go under there. Oh! oh! Okay, they've seen me, they've seen me already. There was one on top of the roof. Ow. I'm sorry, I'm out. I apologize, I'm gone. I'm, I'm far away, far away. We'll just wait for it all to blow over behind the van. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're up for a stroll. 
Okay, well it looks like base operation's probably not gonna be a thing. We can go explore the greenhouse anyway. It's quite next to the skiff. So we'll just head on down here and we'll be able to find it. May as well get some goodies before we go and do our thing and whatnot. And there you go. First one of the day. Screwdriver. I'll take it. Jesus. And here we go. These are the guys that drew little nipples on them. It's cute. Oh, is this just a small little storage cabinet? Oh, hell yeah, I'll take this. I seem to have, like, lost a knife as well. But we might find one in here, so it's not the end of the world. Lots of books? Copy paper. That's not too useful. Canned sardines? Eh, not terrible. Is that all this was? All that you took me here to find out about? Okay. And some very big explosive canisters. Potentially this is maybe linked to the side quest. If we can do that. Doesn't seem to be anything good lying around. Hmm. Oh well. So let's see what other options we've got then. If we can't take this house, and we can't take this house, we can take the blue house here. Looks like this might be interesting. The Nile Shipping and Logistics Company. Yeah, that sounds fun. Ooh. If we're going to get away in, that is. Door there? Potentially that's our way in. Though I guess if it doesn't have a door handle... Eh, might be lucky. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what this is all about. Very spooky, though. Hmm. Okay. This leads outside? No. Into a warehouse. I sure hope there's just dead people in here. I don't want to bump into another group of people. Usually where the tower are around, the acclaimed are also around, so we want to be a little bit vigilant of that. These little, like, sneaky box areas as well. Who knows what we're going to find. Yes, that's a good find, though. Glad we stumbled into that. Uh, do I not have a knife here? Into it. Keeps going into my backpack for some reason. Yeah, stored. Oh, I've got something there already. Okay. Makes sense. Hi. Hello. This is a crazy place. Oh, but that is exactly what we need. Perfect. A wooden cross. This could be our memento for this round, actually. To show that we showed mercy. We let the humans live. For now. Ooh, quite a few here. This place is massively crazy. Somehow they haven't actually seen me. I'll take it. For our big gun. I've got a bit of a broken shotgun. I guess it's starting to show signs of wear and tear now. Well, you should, I hate these robots. Every time you go near them. The only toy ever invented in this world was one that activates every time you go near it. Just in time for the zombie apocalypse. Seems like a big old coincidence to me. Oh, the freaking Mint Menace. The Mint Menace has been here too. When I find that guy, spin is going right out the window. I'll kill him on sight. Mark my words. Okay. What have we got in here? Lots of, like, side panels. There's definitely some, like, sneaky goodies gonna be in here for sure. Everything's so, like, hidden around in all these little crevices and turny bits and twisty bits and hidey bits. It's gonna be wild when we have to get out of here and, you know, collect the cash while under siege from... The Undead Horde. But that sounds like a later problem. Got two of them. <laughs> it, it wasn't even my intention to sneak past them all, but it's kind of working here. Guarded by Golden Lions, 3543. Three. So that is most likely the safe. 
that is in the, the second zone we ever went to. You know, that was that, like, house that we walked into right at the very start, and we rolled a sinner. There was two people outside of it, the big house that we ended up sneaking into the back into. I think that had two golden lions. Other than that, we're going to have to look for a house or a building or something that has two big golden lion statues. Shouldn't be too hard to kind of discover. We might be okay. Okay, we'll clear, we'll clear this one. Oh, awkward angle. Oh, making me reach up. Wow. It's super cool now that we get up top, though. Let's walk around with the axe. Drag it on the floor. Hello, zombies! Come out, come out. What does Neganoi do? He's like, he's like, Lucille wants to say hello. I'll call mine like Janine. <laughs> Janine. Or, um, Karen. Karen wants to say hi. Karen has a complaint. And you're the complaint's representative. That's just so terrible. So cheesy. Plenty of elephants if we wanted to start our own zoo. Nothing good aside from that, though. Energy drink, I guess? Yeah. Not too great. There's got to be some, like, big score around here somewhere. I'm, I'm banking on it. We definitely don't have long until this beepy beep sounds as well. And then we'll have to make our way to the actual tower, tower cache. Uh -huh. That was that side bit we saw from the outside. Ooh, this looks good. We have a storage room. Please tell me we can take that bone thing with us. This thing? Oh. It's like a tail. That's the only thing we could ever want. Another crowbar. That's not the end of the world, I guess. Crowbars aren't fantastic stat-wise, but they're, they're good to just kind of carry around. All of the loot is randomized anyway, so I guess it's kind of dependent on whether you find something good or not. But I guess things like if you find a cache, a vault or something, that's something that will be very static. I'm still ho I'm yeah, I'm, I'm banking on some goodies here. You can take the bandages and recycle them down to make some clean ones. Toilets. That's where the real treasure lies. The loo roll. <gasps> Alas! There is none. What are we going to do? Going to have to resort to stealing it like we're back in lockdown again. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you monster. You absolute monster. Can we... can we not do that anymore? Ever again? Like, ever again. Spoon. Oh, Jesus. I think the... I think the Yelp speaks for itself on that one. <laughs> oh. Jeez. Okay, and at the end of it all... Nothing. A whole lot of nothing. <coughs> I presume the coughing is the diseased zombie we got. The health's been reduced. Also interesting that the timer here. We got like two minutes, I guess. Let's make our way out. We found everything we needed to. Explored all the side rooms and the buildings. Let's just head on out. I think it was this way. Okay. And we'll try and make our way to the base just in time for the bell to go off. Everyone should start running, and that's when we make our move on the base. <laughs> oh my god, look at that! How many are over there? <laughs> Jesus Christ! I guess that's why there's no zombies in the map, you're all there. How many is there? There's at least four. Five? The mega <laughs> zombie monolith! Oh god, the bell. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go quick. We'll leave the mega zombie monolith. Humans are running. That's exactly what we wanted. It gives exactly what we need to get into the cache. How do I increase my health? The meds, right? 
Meds, 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 meds. Yes, another meds. Meds, 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 meds. Bandage. Okay, we're in for a treat now. So we should be able to go straight into the front entrance here. Yep, they've already been replaced with the dead. That's brilliant. We need to just grab all the loot we can and get out as fast as we can. No time for running around here. No time to be slow. Bullets, yes. Bullets, yes. Items, yes. Glue, no. I thought you were meds. Okay, okay, okay. Bottle, no, no, no. Oh. I don't know if they're just going to come pouring through the front entrance or if they're going to spawn in random places and jump scare me. Gun part, fantastic. No, 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 no. Gun part, yes. This is the cash. Good. Got that. Lever action rifle crafting unlocked. Yes, please. Okay, and it looks like we're going to have to drop some stuff out of our inventory. Unless this... Oh, is this... It works! One lever action rifle. Okay. Uh, swap it out for the axe. Put it on here. I don't think our shotgun's going to last too much longer anyway, so we'll just carry this around. Knife. Yes, please. Anything in the side here. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. You're just broken, right? You can't be real. Yeah, this one's broken. Not bad, though. That is good stuff. I'm so glad we waited here. Those guys are going to come back in the morning and be like, wait, where's all our stuff gone? I'm going to be sneaking out like, <laughs> it's all for me. Just got a noise as if some zombies found me. They're up top. Oh my god. Ooh. Broken? Oh, I'll take it. It's not too bad. I'm a little bit worried because... Yeah, we haven't seen too many things, but yeah, they're starting to come out in the woodworks now. Creeping closer. You just turn your eye for one second, you turn back, and they're everywhere. Look at them. In the droves. Oh my god, how many are out here? Door, push door. Hard to tell. Hi. Is there any caches, loot, or goodies? So far, no one's seen me. This is a miracle. Oh yeah, this looks good. This looks good. Little side bit here, side hustle. Yes. Thank you very much. That's tasty stuff. We got so many bricks. We can make some real goodies when we get out of here. Definitely when. No question of if. I suppose one of you had to see me. Hi. Execution! You're coming with. <laughs> First decapitation. Oh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, this guy's a bit, a bit jelly. Oh, a few of them are starting to see me now. Okay, we'll take you while we've got slots for it. Hey! Oh! Oh, getting good at that. Can we get in this side building? We might be able to. Yes. Oh, there's going to be some goods in here. There's a lot of zombies that have seen us, though. Hopefully we can shut that. Ooh, a little radio station. Perfect. Meds. A couple of discs. Take the meds. Take the brick. Cash. Yes. Treasure. So as long as there's nothing in the side room, we've pretty much got everything. Otherwise, I'm going to have to keep emptying my inventory here. Bullets, mm, and the meds. But we're full, right? Yeah, we're full. Take the meds. And that is it. Got everything we need. Now we just gotta make a run for it. Unless these are valuable. Need to check. You're not valuable, are you? Yeah. Right. Let the games begin. Let the fun begin. Let the magic happen. Let the zombies come. There's more building, I didn't realize. Uh-huh, uh-huh, nothing good. Nothing good. One more side of room here. Last chance for some amazing loot. Nothing. Cool, and we can sneak out here. Not ideal, though. We want to go the other side to get to the boat. So we'll go out the way we came. Ooh, thank you. Almost missed that. Aha. Steal, steal, steal. Right. Here we go! Get to the boat. Get to the boat. These guys are stupid. You stupid! Be stupid. Which one saw me? This one. Get him a master decapitator! Yeah. <laughs> Wait, don't I know you? Oh well, not anymore. I think we've seen that guy in a past life! For sure. 
I think the, uh, the decapitation actually, like, doesn't cost as much stamina as a normal kill either. God, they, I feel like I've got, like, a ninja sword or something. I've got such a good, like, clean sweep on the necks. Oh, okay, well. You know, you win some and you lose some. That's a lot of people. Go in the garden. Oh, bits of head. How far away is this gun to breaking? Oh, it's really low. And there it is, it's gone. I kind of wanted to break it, so now we've got this to take with us and we can put this in our inventory. Oh, but we're full, of course. Really want to try this as well. One second. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, uh. Okay, well, I've got to work on my aim a little bit, but... That's a cool gun. That's a very cool gun. I'm going to mess up everything there. What have I got here? The axe. Yeah, cool. We're trying to leave. One thing to toss out for this. One at the head. One at the spoon. Ah, screwdriver. Put this in there. And we'll get that out while we can. Got the cash. Maybe Ma will be happy. And I'll be happy to get home alive. Bus. One thing I haven't showed you is that every time we go to sleep and we wake up, there's a little message that pops up to announce the new day. And it says the dead have grown in number and something along the lines of they get stronger every day. So that's a problem. And we can only, as you can tell by the weather type, we can only go to one zone at a time. So every zone we go to, every day we do, we have to make progress. Because the zombies, they're getting more numerous, they're getting stronger. Eventually, they might overwhelm us. Gotta be careful of that, for sure. Okay, let's have a look at what we got. Yeah, we'll get rid of the screwdriver. That sidearm's looking good. One box of stuff. Two box of stuff. Broken rifle. Three box of stuff. Broken gun. Spoon. Four box of stuff. Dirty bandage. Five box of stuff. And a lot of meds. And our cross. Because we showed mercy today. Look at these little memoirs. Spoon time, the doll for the massacre, and the cross for mercy. Okay, then on the crafting side of things, we could get this to go for a bow if we wanted to. Silent but deadly, as long as you can hit it, which I most certainly can't. We could try and upgrade our lever action rifles, which were a bit sketchy, but we could do it. Backpack slots upgraded with nine small slots and one large slot. That would be amazing. Can we get that? Oh my god. We got it. Right? Yes! So we've now got a second large slot and another page of slots. Oh, this is so much better. Hey, we can carry so much stuff. <laughs> awesome. So if we've got the lever action gun here and axe over here, what we can do now is go to this, upgrade this, and that will enable us to get a shotgun, which we can't afford because we need shotgun frames. But if we could, we could then do that. And our first decapitation of the game. Oh, wait, I want to put you up high. Put you up here. Oh, put you up here. Oh, it's like on the angel statue. How beautiful is that? And it's still alive. Jesus. Oh, hail the shrine for the undead. Oh, hail the shrine. We're looking good on health and stamina, so I think that's everything. Let's go get this cash handed in. Give May Benoit the goods. And in return, she always gives me some intel on the tower, which would be great. Do you stay? <laughs> heavy, heavy gate. Got the intel. Just for you, maybe The noir. traitor bitch has been exploiting tower safe routes. So we are switching things up. Keep her on her toes. Maybe even rid the outskirts of some exiles while we're at it. New stirring schedule below. Georgia. Hmm. Interesting. You know, they really should have got a different method of communication here. This is way too info- well, easy to intercept. But hey, we ain't complaining. We get the goods. I just hope whoever's in there doesn't mind us using their tomb as this kind of waypoint between communication. Oh well. It keeps them immortal, because we get to see them every time. 
I'm sure they like. And I believe that's everything. So we're now passing the time until the lantern is lit and waiting for Casey to reach out again on channel 61, which will no doubt happen in the new day. So I think that'll do it here for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. What's well, a bit of a weird one? Mostly good today, mostly sneaky. So that's kind of fun. We kept Mavenware alive, we kept the tower people alive, and we got pretty much everything we needed. So I don't feel too bad about this. Let me know if it was any brighter today. I might even be able to know this myself by the time I've kind of done the updates on the editing and whatnot, so we shall see. And other than that, I hope to see you all in the next episode. So until then... Goodbye!